All right, folks, we are back to it. Checking the integrity of my recording. It looks like we are good to go. Back to it here. Geek Cheese, Greg. Cheese League Baseball. Tournament number two for 2023. Game number two here of a potential seven game set between the Stilton Saucers and the Gorgonzola Gothams. This is our semifinal action. We got Sellers and Peppers. That's uh, who's going to be facing off Peppers. Very good ERA, Sellers, eh, not as good, so let's get into it. We're going to be back at Founders Field. As we go there, you can see the Extreme Contact Specialist in the Stilton Saucers versus just the Contact Specialist in the Gorgonzola Gothams. The Saucers lead this series one to nothing. So let's see what happens here, folks. And uh, thank you so much for coming in, checking this out. Appreciate it. Thank you so much if you've subscribed and uh, if you continue to watch our content. Really, really appreciate it. Got a lot more Cheese League Baseball in store for you. We're doing a lot more with this, obviously. I've got some ideas for some other things to do once we are done here. And Anson Caldwell's going to lead things off here for the Saucers. And that is a ball from Peppers. That's how the game starts. And ties him up inside. Foul ball, one and two. And just off the end of the bat. Late hit. Franks at first. And that is the first out. Demetrius Spencer steps in. 333 for him on the tournament. Take a look at Peppers, four-seamer slider, curveball, changeup, and the fork ball. So quite a pitch arsenal for her. Junk baller, obviously, as you can tell. 1.62 ERA right now. And I believe she's 1-0. I think that's what it was, 1-0 or 2-0. And the uh, beginning screen already set. All right, here's Nash Schaefer. Nash Schaefer might as well be called a Mash Schaefer because he was mashing the ball last game. I think he had a couple home runs. At least one. I don't know. He hit a bunch of RBIs. That's all I know. That is ripped right at Camacho out number three. Bottom of the first we go. And it'll be Camacho to lead things off against Teddy Sellers. Theo, Teddy Sellers. 475 average though for Camacho. And Sellers, a velocity guy, four-seamer, slider, curveball, changeup, and his pitch arsenal. See an elevated ERA. Ball outside. And two and one is the count. Camacho. Ooh, that was off the second baseman's glove. Who the heck is that playing second baseman? Um, and now Rohan Baldwin steps in. 353 average for him. So a little free base ball ricochets off the second baseman's glove, goes into no man's land in right field. Puts a runner on first, Baldwin. And that one's gonna dunk in fair territory down the right field line. And the runner gets the third. So on the corners and quickly, Morgan's little Gotham's are threatening. Alvarado at the dish, 421 average for him, five homers, 14 RBIs as well. The runner goes from first, and it's an easily stolen bag. And that one again, oh boy, off his glove. One run comes in, and here comes two. It's Batista playing second, and oh boy, Batista. I don't know if they're going to charge him with an error but it's an infield kind of infield ish kind of hit and two runs score because the runners run quite well and boy teddy sellers already has to work a lot harder as arlo frank steps in nobody out and franks does what he does he hits a base hit the power hitting first baseman with no power you know let's talk to somebody from Milwaukee, who uh, was taunting people in Minnesota. He said, you know what we call Joe Maurer? We call him no power. I thought that was hilarious at the time. All right, 2-0. And Zeke Bond looks at a ball outside, 3-0 now. 
And there's a strike. Sellers working back. And yeah, walks him, though. So Sellers walks the bases loaded. That brings up Jacobs. Work 67 for him. And already a very, very difficult situation. This crowd is really liking it. The home crowd here at Founders Field. It's fouled away. And, oh my gosh, that is off Wilhelm's glove. And a run comes home. It's crazy. So many balls almost caught. Atkinson steps in. 400 average for Atkinson. Bases loaded still. And hey, guess what? Nobody out. It's fouled away. 2-1. Sellers looking tense out there on the mound. And it's fouled away. 2-2 two two is the count. Down on strikes. Goes Atkinson. So touchdown goes down as Bart Michaels, the third baseman, steps up. He's been struggling a bit out the plate this tournament. 212 average. One out. Base is still loaded here at the bottom of the first. Already three runs in for the Goblins. And that one is going to be a lot more runs in. It is a grand slam. Just said that Michaels was struggling. Grand slam homer. 31 foot shot into the, the visiting bullpen. First homer, 10th RBI of the tournament. And boy, oh boy, 7 to nothing now. As Sellers looks rattled out there on the bump. And that is a base hit. And. Yeah, I think Sellers' day might be done already as Camacho comes back up as well. They run through the lineup. No, they're sticking with them. Boy, oh boy. And just hit after hit after hit. And here's Baldwin again, one for one with a single. There's only one out. Baldwin. Only one out. Ooh. Baldwin gets plunked. And that hit by pitch puts the bases loaded for Alvarado, who already has two RBIs in this inning. And yep, there it is. Ellison comes in, the long man, out of the bullpen. And Sellers out. A very, very ugly performance for him no. two and one now on Alvarado bases juiced and that is a uh, catch from Spencer the second out a below the belt catch running catch good, good play Carlo Frank steps up base is still loaded now two outs bottom of the first seven nothing Frank swings it pitch and hits a foul and swings at that Oh, and two. And down on strikes he goes. Breaks his bat in frustration, but guess what? They scored seven runs in the bottom of the first. Holy cow. Four, five, and six. Hard to do do up. Four Stilton Saucers. So, what does this do for Shante Peppers, who already, as I mentioned, is a pretty darn good pitcher? Just makes her a little more confident out there on the mound. Popped up, and who's going to catch it? Actually, it's going to be Alvarado who goes all the way out with a short, uh, shallow center field to make the catch. As the catcher Ventura steps in. She's hitting quite well, 333. And one's fouled away. 2-1. And, and fouled away again, 2-2. Two and two. Right back to her, but she can't handle it. Jacobs gets there, but Ventura beats out the throw. The Peacock steps in, 297. Number six hitter in this lineup. Right. 
hot shot down to Franks, over to Jacobs, and back to Franks. That is a 3 6 3 inning and a double play. All right, let's see what this inning has in store. Zeke Bond steps up. He walked his first time. Zeke Gotham's with a commanding lead already, 7 to nothing. Elliston on the bump. And for Sellers, who's chased away very early. Just a little look at the jerseys here as we get the close up on Jacobs. Former Amish. And that's a foul ball. Playing some baseball in his rum spring at two and two. And that is off of Batista's glove again. So that is the third time today that Batista has dive, a dove for the ball and it's hit off his glove and has allowed a base runner on. Actually I didn't look at the the uh, the errors or anything. I don't think they gave any I don't think they gave him an error for anything. It's a ball high. One and one now on Atkinson, and one and two. That's inside. Good speed on the base pass, and that is ripped. Touchdown with a base hit. And that brings up Michaels, who I mentioned earlier is struggling to play, but he had a grand slam his last time up. He's getting hot at the right time. Ball in the dirt, blocked by Ventura, one on one. And now the one, two. Foul ball, one and two again. And again, foul. Two and two. And foul, two and two. Ripped. Ooh, Peacock with a nice dive and stop to Batista and over to Wilhelm to complete the 5 4 3 inning ending double play. So good job on Elliston. Keep these bats at bay. The top of the third. It's going to be 7 8 9 due up. Wow, 7 8 9. They haven't even been through the order yet. That's crazy. One and two. And Batista down and strikes. He's having a rough day. Lower he steps in now. 405 average for him. I mentioned Pepper's more of a junk baller. Let's see, she is an elite four seamer though. As that one's popped up. It's Alvarado. Bracketeer steps in. Quarter 32, two homers, nine RBIs for Bria Bracketeer, the shortstop. I kind of like this move, having a shortstop that runs quite well, that can hit quite well down at the end of the lineup. innings where you're turning over that lineup, it kind of makes a lot of sense. Rather than burying your uh, terrible hitters down at the bottom. Three and two, two outs. Fouled away, top of the third. And again, foul. And the pitch. And foul. And that is a base hit. All right, so Bracketeer. Two out base hit brings up Anson Caldwell. He's over one. And a back door breaking pitch. One on one, good speed again on first, like I mentioned. Bracketeer runs quite well, and that's base hit up the middle. So, the two out magic here for the saucers. Spencer steps in. It's over one. Demetrius Spencer. Right. Uh, 
I was going to say, is this the first time, but it's not. What am I talking about? I was going to say, is this the first time that Peppers has had to work from the stretch, but it's not. And that is a strikeout for out number three. And I am one and two to up here for the Gorgonzola Gothams. Low roller, Bracketeer dives, and they can't get him. Two, two, that's what Cash and Camacho is. Having a splendid day at the plate. Almost had him chasing it. There's a strike. Two and one. Good speed on the base pass. For the Gothams. As that one is dinked high into right center. Lowry is there. And that is the first out. As Baldwin steps up one for one. Baldwin. Take a drink of my iced coffee. My metal straw. Make sure the iced coffee is screaming cold when it gets to my guts, which are in turmoil right now. A bit of a Crohn's flare up, but what can you do? Two and two. Probably shouldn't be drinking coffee. That's what you should be doing. All right, there's a strikeout as Alvarado steps in the box. He's one for two. Two RBIs. And we're on first still. Bottom of the third. Quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Elliston working away. That's base hit. For all intents and purposes, Elliston has pitched quite well, keeping these bats under control. There's Arlo Franks. Since that rough first inning. And a good block behind the plate. And got him to pop it up in the infield. Batista is there out number three. Mash Schaefer up three, four, and five. Top of the fourth. Shot to Peppers. Center field, number eight. Could be your 45th pitch coming. As Mash looks at a strike. No, inside. And just so many. That was the. That looked like it might have been the fork ball of that downward motion. Just kind of diving. Dying. Mash hits it up the middle. And that brings up Cannon Wilhelm with a very runner of very good speed on first here. Nobody out. And another base hit. So, a couple of hits strung together here by the Saucers. And here's Ventura. Diana Ventura. One for one with a single. She's a number five hitter in this lineup. So, Peppers again in a little bit of trouble. This could be two to Alvarado and over to Franks. It is. 6 4 3 double play. Run does move up to third. It's a game Peacock, though. He's 0 for 1. With two outs. And for every time I think Peppers is getting in a lot of trouble, he seems to pull it out. Let's see what happens. Slow roller barehanded by Michaels across the diamond, and she gets out of it again. Still seven to nothing as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Five, six, and seven. Do up here. The Gothams. In the Yeah, we said the bottom of the fourth. What am I talking about? And that sneaks through the right side. Lead off hit. Uh, J 
Jacobs steps in. Two for two, two singles and an RBI. Some very good fake baseball being played. It looks like just got it. Just missed the barrel. Kind of got under it quite a bit too. Pops at the center field is the first out. It's a touchdown. T.D. Atkinson steps in one for two with a single. And that one's fouled down the line. 0 oh and 2. No threat to run, obviously, at first base. And what's that one going to do? That one is going to drop right into Batista's glove. That one he, that one he didn't miss. Art Michaels now, one for two. Again, that grand salami would extend the lead. Two outs, that's base hit up the middle. Maybe Michaels is getting hot at the right time, I don't know. Brings up Camden Anthony. Two for two, two singles. All right. Elliston taking out, I think, I think his stamina was going down quite a bit. Uh, he wasn't really keeping tabs on it, but uh, Elliston's out. Brings in Josiah Whitney. Gets the ground out here to end the inning. And yeah, they didn't give any Batista any of those errors or anything like that. Called them infield hits. It's 0 for 1 as I punch my microphone. Apologize for that. Yeah, that's a base hit. So top of the fifth, folks. Lowry stepping up to the dish. He's at 0 for 1. We have the Silton Saucers at the plate trailing. The Gorgonzola Gotham 7 0. Shante Peppers on the bump. Pitching a great game. This will be your 60th pitch. Ball one and two. Popped up high, right center. And that's the first out. How about this short stop? You're already searing now. Let's make sure everything's all right. And that's base hit up the middle for Bracketeer. One out base knock. Puts runners at first and second. For Hanson Caldwell. He's one for two with a single. And ripped in front of Baldwin. So, bases loaded. Demetrius Spencer, who's two for two, a two hitter in this lineup. A couple guys in this lineup kind of cooled down a little bit. Quickly 0 and 2. And boy, he just looks at three straight pitches. All right, Spencer. Brings up Nash Schaefer. One for two with a single, two outs now. And the base is still loaded. That's a strike and, a half, my friend. and a ball a little low. One and one. And a base hit. It's going to be an extra base hit into center field. Actually, not an extra base hit, but does score two runs. And Matt Schaefer with a two out single. Or two RBI. Well, I guess it was. Two out, two RBI single. Makes it seven to two. They're still trailing, but runners at the corners now for Cannon Wilhelm. So they're threatening. Maybe they're getting peppers as she loses some stamina. And that pitch count keeps creeping up. Down on strikes, frozen. Well, she didn't lose any stamina there. She gets out of the jam for the most part. Does give up two runs. Top of the order is going to lead things off here in the bottom of the fifth for the Gothams. Still leading 7-2. to two. 
All right, Josiah Whitney on the mound here for the Saucers. Ooh, nice little snare there by Peacock down the hot corner. That's the first half. Rohan Baldwin steps in now. One for two with a single and a hit by pitch. And that one gets by Wilhelm at first base. Lowery fields and fires. Alvarado steps up two for three. Two singles, two RBIs for him. Just checking to make sure everything looks good. Thought I saw a little. Thought I saw something going on there. My recording, but it doesn't look like it. One and one. Do they send the runner? No. Line out to Batista at second. And now two outs runner on first for Arlo Franks, who's one for three today. Runner goes. And stolen base. Good eye there from Franks. Man, bad eye. Two and two. Don't know why he swung at that. And that's a good eye. Down on strikes. He is frozen. All right, top of the six. We go seven to two still. You know, the Gotham's bats have been kind of quiet. I mean, they've had some base runners. They've had some opportunities. But after that first inning... They just really, really jumped on uh, the starter. And Louis Hugh comes in, and boy, oh boy, that was almost a dangerous one. And I don't know what Franks was doing. He went over to get it. A swinging bunt back to the pitcher, kind of ended up in no man's land. Hugh gets it, throws over to first, with uh, Franks just barely getting back to cover. And quickly, Gabe Peacock steps up, and he's 0-2. And, and now he grounds out to Alvarado. And now Batista steps in for two. And... Out, ground out to the shortstop. Very, very, very quick. Top of the six for Louis Hugh. And that brings the Gotham back up to the dish. Back up to bat. We got five, six, and seven up. And all right. Whitney is out. We're going to have Reagan Brady come in out of this bullpen. We've seen her quite up out of the uh, Saucers bullpen. Kind of a fireballer, firebrand. Three straight power fastballs. And Malachi Jacobs steps in. He's two for three. Obviously, Brady, a no frills pitcher. Four seamer and slider. You kind of know what's coming. She got pretty good on both pitches, you know. That's a terrible sentence. Pretty good at both pitches. It's an awful sentence. There's T.D. Atkinson. Terrible part is, I'm a writer. <laughs> I'm a writer by day. A legit writer. With a master's in mass media and communications. One and two. And that is a base hit up the middle. Sometimes your brain is just so fried. Here's the thing. This is my day off. I even started the work week. As Art Michael steps in two for three, home run. You know the whole deal with him. Been pretty good today at the plate. Two outs, bottom of the six, seven to two. The Gotham's still winning, and Michaels looks at a strike. Three and one now. And that is a hard hit ball for right at Spencer, out number three. So let's see if the Gotham's. Can uh, shut things down. Looks like Louie Hughes going to be back out in the mound. Lowry up. 0 for 2. 
shut things down here. Close the book on game two. Looking for three quick outs. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Two quick balls. And three. Jesus. What are you doing out there, Hugh? There's a strike. Three and one. And Lowry swung well over top of that. Jeez. Three and two. Foul the way. Full count again. And right through the wickets. Back up the middle. So base runners here for the saucers. The top of the seventh. This brings up brackets here. Having a good day at the plate. Two for two. Two singles. Number nine hitter. Eight, nine, and one here. I don't know what's going on with Hugh, but he's kind of losing a little bit of his uh, mojo here. A lot of balls. Three and one count again on Bracketeer. There's a strike, full count. Down on a strike, she goes frozen. Right. Brings up Caldwell. Right, Caldwell, and this should do it. Franks to Jacobs and back to no, it doesn't. It can't complete the double play. Number thirty-three, That brings up Spencer. Who's zero for three. The two outs here in the bottom, or I'm sorry, in the top of the seat. And the last chance, the saucers, and this should do it. Ground out to Jacobs ends the game. Gorman's little Gotham's win. Boy, they win pretty big, although I will say that outside of that seven run bottom of the first, it was pretty quiet. They did have a bunch of base runners that did get a bunch of hits, but it was kind of quiet. 2 10 and 0 to 7 16 and 0. On the saucer side, uh, good games there, I suppose. Uh, best game there for Schaefer. He's been just killing the ball. No walks, five strikeouts. And then for the Gotham's. Obviously, we have the big Grand Slam homer from Michaels. We'll see him probably in the tops. And then also Alvarado with a good day with a couple of RBIs. And so Sellers takes the loss. He just got roughed up. Oh, my gosh. 12.71 ERA now. Jeez. Uh, Peppers takes the win. Her third. Pretty good ERA for her as well. And they're the tops. Michaels, Alvarado, and Schaefer. Go back to the Elimination Hub. So this series... Best of potential best seven series all tied up at one now. The semifinals here in the Cheese Lake Baseball Tournament Season 2 on YouTube. All right, folks, that's it for me right now. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll check you uh, back again here for some more Cheese League Baseball action on Geek Cheese on YouTube. Like, subscribe, you know the whole deal. Check it then. Bye.